So I've decided to make this video because according to my YouTube data, most of you are either about to turn 20 or you're in your 20s. Now I am no longer in college, I'm a graduate student um, pursuing my second master's degree, but I do remember what it's like and so this topic may be of, of relevance to you. First thing I hate is that people sometimes brainwash you into thinking that college is something that it's not. You gotta go to college. You gotta graduate to be educated and get a good job. Uh, Sort of. Uh, there, there's more to that. I actually view a college education as, as a type of business. A business that pretty much sells you a degree that w with the idea that hopefully that degree is worth something so that you can go and, and get a good job and eventually not, not just pay off the tuition fees that you spent but to make more and to make a living out of that. That's not always the case. A um, bunch of people that I know are working jobs that have nothing to do with what they study. Or even worse, people that actually graduate that can't get jobs because there are no jobs or because what they studied is too specific to get a job or you know, there's just not enough experience that they had and they didn't have that experience because they were busy busting their balls studying these books. Which is why I think that some of the best degrees are those that help you and train you, not just academically, but actually give you the experience that you need so that once you graduate, you know, it's like you're able to do shit. And I'm talking about like nursing, you know, stuff that's like related to the health sciences. So, you know, uh, any type of like, you know, physical therapy, um, engineering, uh, a lot of the science stuff. I think law and medicine are, are, you know, gold careers to a certain extent because, well, when it comes to medicine, like people are always going to get sick. That's a fact of life. And when it comes to law, you know, people are always going to fuck up. They're always going to make mistakes and they're going to need some, some, somebody to represent them. The problem is, is that the more people you have holding the same degree as you, the less your degree is worth. So whenever graduations come along and I see somebody giving a, a diploma to a student, the only thing I'm thinking of is this teacher just saying, Welcome to the land of unemployment. It really does depend on what you study though. Second thing I hate are the fucking slackers because there's just a bunch of people a bunch of people that just don't know what the fuck they're doing there and they shouldn't be there in the first place. They're just wasting money going to school. They're not there to study. They're just there to have sex with their little friends, get drunk, and they arrive really late at class and when they are in class, text it up, man. Just texting. You do know that you can do these things without actually going to school, right? Hey, bro. Can I borrow your notes, bro? Bro, your notes? Your notes, bro. Maybe we could be in a team, bro. Last time I got a 56, bro. That wasn't cool. I think the teacher doesn't like me. She's got it in for me. I'm gonna party it up tonight. So even if by some miracle these people graduate, they won't be able to do shit with their degree because guess what? They didn't learn anything. The third thing I hate is the parking. Now, I don't know how it is in your school and it doesn't really affect me because I take the bus to school, but you know, you have to buy a permit. It's like. You have to pay to be able to park at school to go to school. And it sucks even more when you're not even sure that you want to be there because not only are you paying for classes that you're not sure if you want to be taking in the first place. Oh, and don't even get me started on like, you know, the basics that you have to take even though, you know, they're not even related to your major. But so you're paying the tuition. And then on top of that, you're also paying to be able to park to go to a place that you're not even sure that you want to go to. This goes on to create another problem, especially when it comes to girls. Because what happens is they don't pay the permit because it's fucking ridiculous. So what they do is that they park very, very far from the university. So they have to walk from their car to the university. And when it's a couple of blocks and you're getting out late at night, you know, I've had girls ask me, hey, can, can you walk me to my car? I'm like, yeah, of course. I have three sisters. I wouldn't let them walk alone. And it sucks that this society is so fucked up that females, like when, especially when it's nighttime, they are constantly in fear of, of getting raped. Either that or getting stalked. And I had this, this friend who was pretty much like a model. She was like around 5'10", blonde hair, bright blue eyes. And I remember she told me that she was getting really paranoid because there was this guy that would wait. Like he would go after class to her car to wait for her so that he could say goodnight to her. And he wasn't even in her class. And what's worse is that this guy probably thought that he was being super fucking romantic. That's the problem with creepy guys. You know, they don't realize that they're being creepy. Hi. And this brings me to my fourth point. 
that is about sex and alcohol. The amount of importance that is placed on these two things is just fucking ridiculous. You do realize that the age uh, for legal alcohol consumption in most countries is about, is around 18, okay? Have you ever asked yourself why in the United States it's 21? To me, it's because people that were under 21, when they, when they were consuming it, were fucking up massively. I'm not talking about having a couple beers with your friends, all right? I'm talking about puking, urinating, stumbling, falling down in public, and what's even worse, it maybe even hurting other people because you're so intoxicated. Same thing with sex. Sex isn't the problem. The problem is that when you're in college, you're, you're pretty much in an environment that promotes the shit out of it. But the problem is, is that a lot of people in the environment are not mature enough to handle the consequences of it. And I'm talking about physical consequences like STDs and unintended pregnancies, as well as emotional and psychological consequences. I'll give you an example. If you're a guy and you're young and this new girlfriend you got has had multiple partners before you, you're going you're gonna to lie to me and tell me that you're not going to compare yourself to those partners that aren't even there. That's, a psycholo that's what I mean. That's a psychological consequence. Because I've known married couples that are very insecure about those kinds of things. And it's, it's not a deal breaker by any means because you can learn to, to live and just, you know, appreciate the person for what they're worth. But that, again, that takes a certain amount of maturity. And it's kind of the same thing with girls. Although I'm not a girl, so if you are a girl, let me know. Let me know. But there is something, and I, I can fucking guarantee you, if you're a college student, you're a guy, and you're, you're interested in this new girl, okay? And this is a fact, please don't bullshit me. And this is something that I'm trying to work on really, really hard because when I meet somebody and they're really, really nice and they actually mention that they, you know, my boyfriend or, you know, my ex, I don't hear, like when a girl says that to me, I don't hear the word boyfriend. The thing that I hear is the guy who is currently fucking me or when you meet their exes, right? You know, you see them and it's like, Hey, like my mind just says, I'm the guy who used to fuck the girl you're with now. It's just that our society is so sex-based that that's basically the amount of fucking influence that it has over somebody's life. And people want to sweep this under the rug and pretend like it's not an issue. And I think this is especially true when in the relationship, one of the people is less experienced than the other. But that's actually like a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm not going to cover that in depth. The last thing I hate are the fucking books. And I'm not talking about reading them because people, they don't fucking read. I mean, some people read, but look, I'm talking about how expensive these pieces of shit are. You're telling me that I need to pay over $100 for one book, for one class, okay? That I'm only gonna be using this once for a class that may not even be relevant to my field of study? It's ridiculous. You know what? In fact, that, that became so much of an issue that I think, yeah, a law was passed to make it mandatory so that you can actually rent the book instead of buying these overpriced pieces of shit. What people do is they search for this shit online. So you're kind of promoting piracy in a way. One of the best professors I had was somebody who on the first day of class, he opened up like this, you know, this Word document with some links and he said, all the textbooks are, are here. You can just go, go to this website all the text is there. I want you to read this shit. I don't want you to buy it. My best advice is if if you know you're gonna need the book, buy it, get a hard copy, that's cool. But if it's just, I would say like, give the class at least one class session to see if you really are gonna need the book. Like if the professor gets on your ass about where's your book, where's your book, you're probably gonna have to buy it. But if not, just just sort of like test it. See, see, you know, feel the waters a little bit. Now, despite everything I've just said, I truly do believe that college is what you make out of it. And whether or not it's worth it, that's for you to decide. Nobody else can make that choice for you. But if you're asking for my opinion, I wouldn't trade my college years for anything. That's it for me. Thanks a bunch for watching. If you have other stuff that you would like to add, leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you did. I appreciate that. Just, just trying new things here in my channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.